four, three, two, one, and we are at T minus nine minutes and counting. Looking at the main engines being gimbaled for a final test before launch. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. Ten seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed of 1,000 miles an hour, altitude of one mile, downrange of four and a half miles from the Kennedy Space Center already. External tank separation confirmed. This is Mission Control Houston, the Space Shuttle Discovery uh, launching into a nighttime sky today as planned at 7.47 p.m. Central Time. It's only the third Space Shuttle launch in five months, uh, the first night launch in more than four years. Discovery seven-member crew, Commander Mark Polanski, Pilot Bill Ophelein, and Mission Specialist Bob Kerbeam, Nicholas Patrick, Krister Fugelsang, Joni Higginbotham, and Sonny Williams now on their way to the International Space Station. The plan is to rendezvous and dock with the International Space Station complex on Monday, beginning a week-long stay there. During the course of the mission and three spacewalks, the crew will rewire the outpost. You are go for APU hide shutdown as written. During that week-long stay, the crew will rewire the orbiting outpost and put it into the configuration to support the final assembly of the space station in Discovery's payload bay. Is another section of truss that will allow electrical power to be generated by the giant solar array delivered to the space station in September on the previous shuttle mission. That will allow electrical power to be generated by the giant solar array delivered to the space station in September on the previous shuttle mission. That's in flight director Steve Stitch presiding over the team here in Mission Control for today's activities with Kim Ham, spacecraft communicator, talking with the crew on orbit. <laughs>